Sufriya Special, the 28th of April 1979. Scientific observations, 16 to the 17th of April 1979. During the afternoon of the 16th of April, activity continued at the level of around 30 clearly identifiable earthquakes per hour. These earthquakes were mostly of explosion type. From about midnight local time on the 17th of April the character of the earthquakes changed and the majority had the signature of fracture type events. The violent explosive phase of the 17th of April. The same style of seismic activity, without any visible activity in the crater. Continued through the day of the 17th of April until 1657 hours when the 7th violent explosive phase of the eruption began. This was preceded by 70 minutes of low amplitude tremor which emerged gradually but only built up to high amplitude over the last 15 seconds prior to the onset of the explosive blast. The initial blast was accompanied by a rumble clearly heard at the Belmont Observatory, 9 kilometers from the crater, and the eruption columns rose vertically above the crater, ascending to about 4,000 meters above the crater rim within 2 minutes before it began to mushroom. Three minutes after the explosive phase began, pyroclastic flows were seen to descend the Larikai River Valley and continue almost as far from the coast at a distance of three kilometers from the crater. This pyroclastic flow covered the first two kilometers towards the coast in about two minutes and then decelerated. By 1710 hours, ash was falling at sea to the west of the volcano. Lightning was everywhere in the ash cloud. Hundreds of flashes hit the ground and some danced along the electric power lines around the observatory. The observatory building was struck three times. By 1717 hours, the pill up to one centimeter in diameter were falling at the observatory. At 1719 hours, the volcano tremor on the seismographs declined, apparently marking the end of the explosive phase. In most respects, this explosive phase resembled the previous 6 on 13 and the 14th of April. Because it was daylight, no glow was seen during the explosive activity of the 17th of April, but there is little doubt that fresh molten rock was involved. 17 to the 19th of April. Mild explosions. Following the violently explosive phase at 1700 hours on the 17th of April, the volcano became very quiet with practically no earthquakes, short duration, and with only a single period of about 20 minutes of intermittent, low amplitude tremor during the night at 17 and the 18th of April. From 08 hours onward on the morning of the 11th of April, earthquake activity began to develop again, with continuous background tremor and brief, stronger explosion type earthquakes of a short duration superimposed on the background. By late morning, mild activity developed in the crater with small explosions, some faintly audible from the observatory producing cauliflower clouds of steam of which some were lightly laden with ash. By 1100 hours on the 18th of April, earthquakes of explosion type were occurring at about 50 clearly distinguishable events per hour on the observatory seismograph. On seven occasions between 1118 hours and 1230 hours on the 18th of April, and at intervals during the afternoon when the crater was visible through the normal weather clouds, Gently swirling clouds of steam were seen to rise to a maximum of about 600 meters above the crater rim. Future installations. The plan to install a seismograph at 800 meters above sea level on the eastern flank of the volcano on the morning of the 18th of April was postponed due to the uncertainty over the behavior of the volcano, and was finally abandoned until the 19th of April. In the evening a third radio-linked seismograph was installed at Richmond Beach. On the morning of the 19th of April the station on the eastern flank of the volcano, at an elevation of 800 meter above lot 14 was put into successful operation. Summary. This volcano has passed through a number of wildly differing phases of activity. Monitoring is being progressively improved and events are now being followed and documented carefully. The Star, Saturday April 28, 1979.